A new round of data collection using new tools and technologies will offer wildlife managers in Wyoming more robust data to assist in the management and prosperity of mule deer, which have been in gradual decline across the West for the last 30 years. Over 200 mule deer will be captured in the upper Shoshone region of northwest Wyoming this month as part of the Mule Deer Monitoring Project, a statewide five-year, $5.3 million project to collect more information on mule deer than ever before, looking at six areas critical for mule deer management, abundance, composition, data management, survival, herd health, and harvest management. Wyoming Game and Fish Cody region wildlife biologist Tony Mong says an interesting feature of the upper Shoshone mule deer herd is they spend winters outside of Cody, but migrate all the way to Yellowstone National Park for the summer. How these deer fare in the winter months is of particular interest. One of the, I think, most important pieces of, of data that we're going to gain from this is understanding better the survival of all these uh, different cohorts of, of deer. Um, from looking at annual survival of our mule deer does to our mule deer bucks, and then, you know, how well are our um, fawns surviving uh, over winter and through that first year. And that's critical information that we need to collect to be able to understand population size, population growth, or declines. And then in addition to that, um, just the movement of these animals across that landscape in some of the most remote country in the lower 48 occurs in, in their range, in their migration routes. A helicopter crew will capture the deer in the field, attach radio collars on them, and collect biological samples so researchers can study herd health, nutrition, and habitat use. Game and Fish is surveying eight herds in all, with five herds receiving special focus, the Upper Shoshone, Laramie Mountains, North Bighorn, Sweetwater, and Wyoming Range herds. In these herds, the study will look closely at their composition, the number of male, female, and juvenile deer, also examining data from aerial counts, trail cameras, and ground surveys. 1,000 mule deer will be collared statewide, giving biologists a look at the day-to-day -day lives of these animals, where they go, where they stay, what habitats they use or avoid. Processing the massive amount of data will come through a partnership with the University of Wyoming, who will analyze it and return it to the department. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.